First off, watch your mouth when you're talking to me. Watch your mouth when you're talking to me. It's the WC. Here with some NBA 2K25 stuff, man. We're going to go over the, the L's that they took, the dubs that they took, and everything in between. Make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe on the video, man. Share it. Like, that's the only way that this stuff can blow up, man. I'm... I'm one of these YouTubers where I'm objective. I can give you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Always. All right? Always. I'm not one of these paid shields that's going to tell you that something is fire when it's clearly not. What you see right here is the My Career Builder. This ain't nothing that we ain't never seen before. This is what we're going to see when we booting up the game for the majority of us. Because the majority of us played My Career. And we don't really play the rest of that stuff. Man, We play My Career, My Player, and stuff in the city. This is normal. Let's hope that this game doesn't have meta builds, man. As you can see, this is a 6'1 point guard, 190 pounds. Y'all see all the attributes going up. Um, one thing that, I, that I've struggled with with playing this game, we're talking about objectivity now, is deciding whether I want to invest into a build that works towards my play style or creating a build because of the fact that the community said, hey, you need to make this build because animations are broken. That they get specific advantages that other builds just don't offer. I think that 2K struggles with having these meta builds in the game. Let's hope that this My Career Builder does not spit out one of these meta builds. It, it, just, it just feels like it might be heading in that direction this year. This one right here is a clear cut dub for 2K. They're allowing you to see which type of animations, which type of stuff that you're kind of, that you can unlock with your player while you're in the builder which is very important because like say if you're trying to get like you have 85 ball handle and like Allen Iverson's is like 93 or something like you, you you'll figure it out you'll figure it out in the my career builder instead of making a player and then going through the process of trying to figure out where your player basically is by going into the it's just another step that they're just kind of taking away this is actually a dub right here because that's one thing that I actually, I, I definitely hated in previous versions of the game. Where you go into the My Career Builder, you create a big man, then you find out that he can't get the Shaq dunk package. So you got to go back into the damn builder and then fix it. Or you got to go back and create a brand new player or edit a player over and over and over again to fit to the specific um, jump shots or dunk packages in this case like Shaq's. So this is actually a, this is actually a dub right here. All right, they they dubbed this one out. It looks like the Brickley workouts is confirmed too. They're gonna have this back in the game right here. This is the first thing that for sure I'm bothered by the takeover system. 70 takeovers, 14 special abilities is what they said. They didn't really talk about the special abilities. All right, so they they didn't they just kind of glossed over that, but they talked about 70 takeovers. Now, WC, they're gonna say, WC, what's the problem with this? The problem with this is, is that this is kind of unpredictable. You're going to have guys or girls. Notice that they didn't confirm that there was going to be female my players in the city, by the way. They didn't confirm that at all. They might do that next week. But if I had to bet, I would say no. You're going to have people get takeover in NBA 2K25, and you're not going to know why the hell they got takeover. You're going to be like, how in the hell did that man right there get takeover? You're going to have guys get takeovers for deflecting one or two passes. You're going to have guys get takeover for getting two, three rebounds. To a specific degree, I kind of like it, but it's like, why do they need 70? Let me know what you guys think about this. I think that 70 is way too much, but at the same time, it does add in variety. It does add in, I would say, strategy. And do you think that this is another thing that's in the game that will break it? Do you think this is another broken dynamic that's in the game? Like, this already looks like a headache. It, it already looks like a headache to me. I heard 70 and then I got an ice cream headache. Is, is, am, I wrong for, if I, am I wrong for that? Plus, takeover is an automatic thing now. So, it's not something that you can activate. It's something that just activates. Is this like a replacement for the juice badge? Or is juice one of those special abilities that they was talking about? Because the Juice badge, like anybody that was playing 24-23, you know that Juice probably gave you, I think that Boost, I think that Juice gave you like plus 10 to all your abilities. So is that taken out of the game and then just kind of blended in with all of these takeovers? And of course, like if you're a big man, 
you should be able to get barbecue chicken. But if you're like a 6'1 point guard, you probably shouldn't be able to get it. Let's hope that they balance this thing out and they cut takeovers off, that there's like restrictions to takeovers. I hope that that's what I just heard. They talked about 40 badges. You see bronze, silver, gold, Hall of Fame, and legend. I like that. That's a dub. And I think that they're going to get rid of floor setters so your badges are not going to regress. That's a dub as well. One thing that bothers me about this whole situation is... Will 2K make you go all around the world, all around the city, do all of these impossible tasks just to obtain these badges? And something that they're not talking about, they're not talking about repping the city yet. They're not talking about how it affects your my player and how it affects your badges. There's a lot of things here that just kind of look like they're going to be broke. It just it like the, the, the 70 takeovers worries the hell out of me. And then these badges, like these, like the legend badge on here should be hard to get. Think back to like the grand badges from previous 2Ks. Like this, like those, that, that's how it should work. So essentially they're bringing back grand badges. I'm going to do a lot of y'all a favor and skip the stuff about my career because this stuff right here is more important than playing out my career. There's no way around it. You're going to have to get your ass in there and play those my career games in order to get these badges. So it just kind of goes hand in hand. But let me know how you guys feel about this. 2K took some dubs here with the My Career Builder. I will tell you that they took some dubs. But there's like questions. I won't necessarily give them too many L's. I think the 70 takeovers is an L. I, I, I really do. Because it's gonna because you're gonna sit there and you're gonna ask yourself, why in the hell does this guy have takeover? Dudes are gonna get takeover for making the the, the, the correct pass in this game, probably. Or just getting a rebound or maybe making the right read or tipping a ball a couple of times. You're going to see shit like that. And if that's not the case, they have to dispel that really quick because I'm just like, I'm scratch. I'm, we talk about, we're not talking, we're not talking about just scratching my head. I'm, I'm scratching the skull. I'm trying, I'm scratching my skull looking at this. But it's the WC, man. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Like I said, um, psh, I can be objective about this. The stuff with the W, I'm not. I'm probably not going to do a video on that unless they say that the that my female my players is going to be in the city. Which, if they were going to do that, they would have already done said it. I'm telling y'all, they would have done said it by now if they were going to do that. That's my guess. They could surprise us in a couple of weeks and tell us. They could surprise us next week and tell us. But I'm gone. Till next time. Peace out, man. <sighs> Got to be objective, y'all. Got to be objective out here.